Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing how you can install a Ubuntu instance on Amazon AWS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let me open a browser first. Let me maximize it and then go to aws.amazon.com. So once you are here, if you do not have an account, just click on create an AWS account. If you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I'll sign in as a root user. Click on submit and then give your password and sign in. Now I'm signed in. The next thing I'll do is to click on services and then go to compute and click on EC2. From here select the instances, then click on launch instances. Here I'll select the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Make sure you have selected the 64-bit x86 and click on select. Now you have to select a plan. I'll go with the free tier plan. So let me select this one. And then I will just click on configure instance details. So in this page, I will leave everything as default. So I'll simply click on add storage. Here I will add some storage. So eight gigabyte is the default storage. I'll change it to 10 gigabyte. You can get up to 30 gigabyte for free. You can also change the volume type. So let me select the GP3 as this offers additional input output operations per seconds. You can also select GP2 if you want. After selecting volume type, leave everything as default and click on add tax. Here I will add some tags. So let me click on add tag. I will name the key as name and value as Ubuntu 20. You can give whatever you want. So after doing that, just click on configure security group. If you already have a security group, you can select that one. I will create a new security for this tutorial. Here in the type, I will select all traffic. Since I will install a graphical user interface in the next video. And in the source, I will select anywhere so that I will be able to log into my Ubuntu instance from any computer. Once you have done that, just click on review and launch. Here you can review all your settings. If you want to edit some of your settings, you can do that here. If you are satisfied with everything, just click on launch. It will ask you to select an existing key pair or create a new key pair. Since I do not have a key pair, I will create a new one. Just click on choose an existing key pair and select create a new key pair. And now I have to input a key pair name. So I will call it Ubuntu 20. Here is a caution that you have to save this key pair file. If you lose this key pair, you may lose access to your Ubuntu instances. So make sure you save this file in a safe location. Now I'll simply click on download key pair. So the key pair has been downloaded. Now I'll simply click on launch instances. So the instance has been created. So I'll wait until the instance is ready. Let me click on view instances. As you can see the instance is up and running. So let me select this one. It will show all the details of this instance. As you can see this one is my public IP4 address. So if I click on open address, I will see nothing since I have not done anything with this instance. So let me close this one. Now if I click my instance ID 
it will show all the details of my instance from here I will click on connect now I can connect to my EC2 instance simply by clicking on connect as you can see this is my Ubuntu instance up and running now I can type anything here for example I will simply type ls and press return or enter in windows as you can see it is working perfectly from this command line window you can perform any operations you want now I will show how you can access your Ubuntu instance using the PEM key click on SSH client so here I will go through all these steps so let me first minimize this window my PEM key is downloaded on my desktop as you can see it is here let me create a new folder I will name it to keys then I will put my key inside this folder now I will open a terminal window inside this folder so let me right click it and click on terminal at this folder then I have to change the permission for this PEM key so let me copy this So this PEM key will not be publicly viewable. Let me just paste it and click on return. Now I can check the permission of this key simply by typing ls-l and the name of my key and press return. As you can see all the permissions are gone for this file. This file is only readable. Now I will connect to my instance using its public DNS. So let me just copy this one. And then I will go back to my terminal and paste it. And press on return. So let me click on yes. As you can see my Ubuntu instance is now accessible from my terminal. So this is how you can create and access your Ubuntu instance on AWS Amazon. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I will install a graphical user interface on this Ubuntu instance. Until then, bye.